welcome. Let's do some chemistry. In this video, what I'd like to discuss is the significant figure rule pertaining to trailing zeros. This particular rule tends to give students the most trouble when trying to determine the number of sig figs a particular measurement has. Trailing zeros, by definition, are zeros that appear in a measurement after non-zero digits. These types of zeros are only significant if there's a decimal point present in the measurement. Let's get started. Let's look at letter A. Letter A gives us the measurement of 500 milliliters. In this particular measurement, we have five, a non-zero digit, followed by two zeros. These zeros are trailing zeros because they, become, they come after that number five. Now there's no decimal point present, so we're gonna ignore those two trailing zeros and only count the non-zero digit towards our total number of sig figs. So in this particular measurement, we only have one sig fig. However, in letter B, it's still a measurement of 500 milliliters, but now we have a decimal point present at the end of that value. What that tells us now is that those two zeros, those two trailing zeros after that number five, are now significant. So we have a total of three sig figs. The reason why this value is the same, 500, but the significant figures are different, is we use significant figures to indicate the precision of the instrument used to take a particular measurement. So 500 with the decimal point has a greater number of sig figs, indicating that the instrument used to take that measurement was much more precise than the instrument used taking the 500 milliliter reading in letter A. Let's take a look at letter C. In letter C, we have 422,000 meters. Now, there's three non-zero digits and then three trailing zeros, but there's no decimal point, so we only have three sig figs in this measurement. In letter D, we have 60.00000 grams. Well, we have a non-zero digit there, followed by five zeros and a decimal point. So now all of these zeros are significant, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six total sig figs. In letter E, we have 8.450 kilometers. So we have three non-zero digits, followed by a zero, making that a trailing zero. There's a decimal point, so they all count. And we're looking at four sig figs for this particular measurement. In letter F, we have 10 centimeters, no decimal point. So the only significant figure in that measurement is that one. We're gonna take a look at letter G. Now, letter G is a little bit tricky. The reason being, we're adding in the two other types of zeros you can have. If you watched the previous videos, we talked about leading zeros, which are zeros in front of non-zero digits, and they're never significant, and trap zeros, which are zeros that appear between non-zero digits, and they're always significant. So if we take a look here in letter G, we have 0.000, .000 4106800 kilometers. Now these leading zeros out in front of the four, they're never significant. They're only holding a decimal place. So we're gonna ignore those first four zeros. For, so our first significant digit is that four. We have a trapped zero here, so that's also significant. And then we have two trailing zeros at the end. Those two trailing zeros, since there's the decimal point, are significant. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven significant figures in this final measurement. 
I hope this video helps you with your significant figures. For more chemistry content, continue to follow along. Until next time.